Today, we're kicking off the third and final part to a three-part series on Seller Frequently Asked Questions. I hope by now that you have learned something and got some answers to some questions that you've had about the selling of your home and its process. So we're just going to get straight to it. I'm Melissa Shaw Lewis Realtors with over 21 years of real estate expertise, and I'm here to share with you the final questions of top questions I get from sellers when they're looking to sell your home. Number one, a frequently asked question that I get is, at what point do I turn off utilities? Well, that's a really solid and great question because you don't want to turn them off too soon. You really want to ascertain that the date that your home is closing, make sure that there's no bumps in the road and you want to call your utility companies ahead of time and just let them know that your closing statement is going to happen on the closing date. But you will want to follow up with them the following business day to let them know, in fact, you did vacate your home and the responsibility is now with the new homeowner. One main reason for wanting to make sure your home closes is contractually, it's a part of in Portland, Oregon and Vancouver, Washington, uh, metro markets. Anyway, contractually, it's a part of the real estate purchase and sale agreement. The second part to that is if they are turned off too soon, it could leave the future homeowner with more expenses for disconnect costs and without utilities on their move-in day. Another question, number two, that I frequently get from sellers is can I leave some personal property? Come on, like, do I have to take the wood? Do I have to take the broom? And again, contractually, all personal property needs to be removed from the home. This means everything. If it isn't attached or fixed to the wall or ground or something, um, it must be removed. Now, if there are some items that you're like, well, the homeowner could really use some of these things. Maybe it's spare flooring, maybe it's shelves in the garage. Always ask your real estate professional and have them get permission for anything like that to be left in the property. Because the last thing you want when you're all packed up and moved out is have to come back to get stuff that shouldn't be there or pay for someone to remove it. So that is a real biggie, real, real, real biggie that I do not want for you after you move out. The other thing that kind of pivots to that is TV wall mounts. TV wall mounts, yes, they must stay with the home. Now, the main reason for that is they leave big holes in the walls, and that can be a repair that a future prospective homeowner was not anticipating. And again, they could come back on you to come and fix those holes. So yes, TV wall mounts stay. They are considered fixtures because they are bolted to the wall, but you can take your TV. Another question that I frequently get is, do I really need to have smoke detectors and carbon monoxide detectors? And yes, you do. It is actually law and you need smoke detectors typically that are within 10 years and same with carbon monoxide, 10 years new carbon monoxide. Now, if the smoke detectors are hardwired, then you don't need 10 year lithium batteries. You still need battery backup, but you don't need lithium batteries. If they're battery operated, then you need 10 year lithium batteries. You can click and look below for in the comments for the um, codes on the, the laws that are required for Oregon and Washington for your easy reference. One of the last questions that I get is, what is Verpter? Verpter was introduced a few years, many actually longer than a few years ago as a protection against foreign investors leaving the country and not paying taxes. And it actually stands for Foreign Investment in Real Estate Tax Act. There will be a notice that you will have to sign at the escrow company to state that you are not 
a foreign investor. That way they won't have to collect and withhold taxes from your net proceeds. So you'll get every bit of money that's coming to you. Well, if you enjoyed this series and you got some questions answered, but you just have some more that need to be answered, please click the link below and book a call with me and we'll get you on your way and make your move happen.